I've definitely been in a watercolor mood lately, so I wanted to bring out my Winsor & Newton Cotman watercolors that I've had for quite some time actually and give them another go. I purchased these paints, I want to say a year or two ago off of Amazon and I actually only used them like once or twice and then I just kind of set them to the side. I'm not a huge fan of mixing my own paints, so uh, I, why did I buy this? I wanted it. it they're good paints, but I, I just didn't really use them. So, I cracked this guy open, I did clean it a bit because it was still dirty, it's still kind of dirty, but I promise I cleaned it a little. And the first thing I noticed upon opening this was all those pans really wanted to come out. The paints had detached from the actual half pans themselves. I don't know, I don't remember if they were like this when I got them, but uh, every single one of those paints was not attached to the half pan, so again, not sure if it was like that when I got it, I honestly have no idea. This set also comes with a super tiny travel brush, which is a nice brush, but it's just a really short handle, so if I'm given the situation to use a different brush, I'm going to use a different brush. So about this set, this is the Cotman series of the Windsor & Newton watercolor paints, and the Cotman series is student grade paints, they're not professional, but they do have a lot of pigment in them, they're very pretty paints, I, I don't know enough about paints to like rave about them and if they're good or not, but I, I enjoyed using these paints for this video and a couple other times I have used these paints, I have enjoyed them. Uh, I do like these paints a lot and I don't know why I haven't used this set aside from the fact that I just don't like mixing colors because by no means are these bad paints. I don't remember the price they were when I purchased them, but as of the time of me doing this voiceover they are $12.42 off of Amazon, uh, that's in US dollars, and they do also have quite a different variety of sets. They have like tube sets, larger half pan sets, like deluxe versions of this set, which this one in particular is the Skechers Pocket Box. Uh, it comes with 12, 12 paints as you can see, and it does come with enough of a variety of paints that you can mix pretty much any color you want to mix out of these paints. I did do some mixes of colors, but I, I didn't really paint much. <laughs> the first thing I went ahead and painted was a strawberry oddish because I really like the cool like just food variations of well not necessarily food variations but just like floral variations of grass types like I don't know if you guys have ever seen pictures of like Bulbasaur's that have like succulents or cauliflower stuff on their backs and in particular today I wanted to paint an oddish because I was thinking of a long long time ago I don't remember who it was but I saw a polymer clay artist off of Instagram that did like succulent oddishes and floral oddishes so I was kind of thinking about that and I wanted to just draw one of those so I went on Google and I was looking up oddish variations and I came across an artist called Jay Rockin who had a strawberry oddish among others but the strawberry one really stood out to me because I just the strawberries are really cute and so I thought a strawberry oddish would be a super super cute idea so that is what I went ahead and I did for the first thing and I did off screen put on um, masking fluid that was me forgetting what masking fluid was called I put on masking fluid to just cover up where the seeds would be so I wouldn't have to go over those with a gel pen or anything uh, and while that was drying with my first few layers, I went ahead on to my second painting, which is Vanille from Final Fantasy XIII. She's one of my favorite characters from Final Fantasy XIII, if not my favorite character. I really like Vanille. Uh, I really struggled with what to draw for this, actually. I, I think I was going through the mindset of like not wanting to waste nice paper, and this is the Canson XL watercolor paper. I haven't used this paper since I actually first started with watercolors, this was the very first paper I ever picked up to start using watercolors with, and for the longest time in my head, I always saw this paper as really not good paper, which is not the case by any means. This is actually really nice watercolor paper. But when I first started with watercolors, the only paints I had were the nasty, like, artist sloth cakes from Michaels, which are not good. If you've ever used them, you know that. They're not good paints. They're super chalky. They're hardly pigmented. They're like really, really bad watercolors. You're definitely getting what you paid for with those ones. I think they're like five dollars, but I only used those paints on this paper. So for the longest time, I thought this paper was like garbage paper just because I had used really bad watercolors with this paper. But I've been seeing several artists across the way using this paper. So I was like, I kind of want to give it another try. It's, it's probably nice paper. It's probably not as bad as I think it to be. And uh, I saw a pad of it on sale or clearance or something at Walmart a while ago. So I picked it up and I'm finally getting around to using it. So yay. 
but I really struggled with like sketching anything. I had the Oddish sketched from yesterday and I wanted to do something else because I felt like the Oddish was kind of just copping out of a video of just like super small little thing. So I wanted to do something more and it took me like a couple hours to just sketch something out that I was happy with. I was, I was having issues, but I ended up drawing Vanille because I went through my old art on Instagram, I was just looking at my own art, hopefully to get some inspiration, and I wanted to redraw Vanille because it's been a long time since I've drawn her, and my style and just like skill and art has changed a lot, so it was fun to do her again. And then I did go ahead and I tried outlining everything with watercolor. I want to work on that more. It takes a lot of time, but I really, I really like how soft it looks, so I did that with both the Oddish and Vanille. It took a long time, but I do like how it looks. I definitely have to play around with the technique more, but proud of myself for, again, using small brushes because that's something that I am, I'm not super comfortable with and I feel like it's really helped improve my hand being steadier and just I'm getting my use out of my tiny brushes that I have built up a collection of just like from art snacks. I have so many small brushes, so it's nice getting my use out of them. But overall, I was actually really having a lot of fun using this palette. I'm not a huge fan of mixing colors, but it wasn't really that big of a deal. Honestly, I think this is the first time in a really, really long time that I have mixed my own skin color. Aside from the Kuretake Gonsai Tombi paints I have, I have to mix the skin tone with those every time because they do have like a, a fleshy color, but it's, it's not pink enough, so I always have to mix in uh, like a rosy color to make it more skin toned and less like dead flesh colored, I guess. I don't know. But it was it was nice to mix my own paints. I I don't think I'll stick with using small sets long term anyways. Um, I do want to pick up some actual professional paints in the future, so obviously I'll have to start off small with those because I don't really feel like dropping like $150 on nice watercolors anytime soon. I know I want to try out some Daniel Smith watercolors soon here, so Hopefully I'll do that in the near future, but they are pretty expensive and I'm trying not to spend a ton of money on art supplies right now. So we're just sticking with what we have because quite frankly, I do have quite a selection of watercolors. So I need, to, I need to take it down a notch when it comes to buying art supplies. But I am really happy with how both of these pieces turned out. Um, I'm really glad I brought this set out. I think I'll be using it again pretty soon here just because they are nice paints. I'll leave a link in the description to them on Amazon because in case you guys are interested, they are a very good price for what they are and they are very nice paints. And like I said before, they do have quite a variation. So they do have half pan sets that are larger, they have tube sets, etc. So I would definitely recommend looking into them if you're looking for a nice student grade set of paints because I would definitely recommend these guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.